What are your you know, thoughts on the increased electricity tariff for band A category? Well, first of all, uh, we must understand that uh, increase in tariffs is not bad on its own. But we have issues uh, in our own environment. You, you are taking um, subsidy of electricity. How many people do you actually want to have electricity in Nigeria? What is the uh, uh, expanse of people who, um, who enjoy electricity in our country? Now, since the 50s, there has been gradual increase in the number of tele, what you call teledensity in Nigeria, okay, up to now. But then look at it this way. You took out subsidy on uh, uh, petroleum products, okay? And the people are still grappling with it. There is high inflation. Now, the currency is still moving up and down. And then you are taking out tariff on electricity. Now, I want you to also look at the second point. Second point is you have not started producing uh, petroleum products in Nigeria, but then the price is high. Now, you are taking out tariff on electricity, and you have not done any improvement on the infrastructure. So what are you doing? Are you telling us that increase in tariff amounts to uh, better performance, increase in investment? That's not economic. So I, I, I don't know how Nigerians are going to take this. Of course, uh, the tariffs are in great. OK, there are certain people whose tariffs have not really been increased that much. And then, of course, at a certain level, the tariffs are high. But what is our level of industrialization in Nigeria? What is the level of consumption of electricity by uh, uh, corporate organizations, industries, manufacturing concerns? These are the areas we should look at. In so the light of... If the organization yes. of electricity generation and distribution is now going to be a, a curse on the people, why do that? Now, let's look at those who are operating the discourse. Do, do they have the necessary qualification, the necessary expertise? They are still using the old NEPA infrastructure. Just to quickly That's chip in there, Mr. Aquarando. Yes. And the, just to yes. quickly chip in there, Mr. Aquarando. In the light of all you have said, do you think this present government is doing too much of power lifting all at the same time? You talked about inflation, sky jump, uh, you know, jumping from 29 to 31%. Queues are resurfacing at the filling station. There is also the increase in the price of gas. So do you feel this government is doing too much all at the same time? Yes, I, I think the government is taking itself for granted, not Nigeria. The government is taking too much at the same time, and that's what destroys particular government. Take one step at a time. Sort out the, um, uh, the uh, PMS situation by having refineries work. And then when you have done with that, you can then move to electricity. As it is now, what are you generating? What are the discos conveying to the people? What is the level of infrastructure in electricity generation and distribution? That's what we're talking about. So why do you have to increase tariff? Government has been giving these discos money. I still don't want to start putting figures because my look as if uh, you know one is trying to cause disaffection in the, in the society. If government has been since the privatization, be giving the discourse money to sustain them. Why do we have the discourse? Why don't you disband the discourse? Why do you have them? Why must we sustain them? Why must they also uh, uh, browbeat government into increasing, accepting increase in tariff? from the uh, TCN, you know, uh, as a way of solving the problem of power in Nigeria. That is not correct. Secondly, why do we have one national grid? You generate everything you put into the grid. You can't store electricity, you know that. So what are we doing? Are we really thinking with our heads or with our shoes? Now, that's the problem. So I, I don't know how far this government can, can go with this. Hmm. I know there will be a lot of demonstrations. Now, let's take a moment to look at the customer classification for electricity supply in Nigeria. The band A is for those who get 20 hours out of 24 hours. Uh, there is the band B, those who get 16 hours of 
you know, electricity out of, you know, uh, 24 hours. And then we have the band C, 12 hours. We have the band E, 8 hours. Band D, 8 hours. And then the band E, 4 hours. Now, there are fears that this will most likely trickle down to categories such as band B, C, D, and E. What impact will these have on the average Nigerian? I tell you, if, if gas was cheap, then you wouldn't worry too much, right? If solar energy was cheap, then you wouldn't worry so much, okay? Now, we are going to cut down more trees when we want to plant trees, okay? Because people are going to resort to using uh, uh, trees, right? That wood. Now, kerosene is nowhere to be found, much less being cheap. So how do the people cook? That's a problem. Okay, so you see, you need to solve problems from the ground and not from the top. So the, the repercussions will be so much that the people who are suffering from hyperinflation will now actually get to a point where their belts can't tighten anymore. Food prices are still high. How are they going to get food to eat? So they will resort to use of lantern. Houses will start burning every day now. Just watch out. Houses will start burning every day. Shops will start burning every day. So what is the government doing? Are they thinking at all? You know, you know, these problems can't be tackled at the same time. You need to phase out the problems you're solving. I can understand removal of uh, subsidy on petrol. That's understandable. Now, if you can improve local refining of these products, okay, the people can begin to gradually, gradually have less pain, okay? Now, if the cost of gas will go down, but it's going up, so how would the people cook? Just to quickly you know, chip the, in there, uh, Mr. Mr. Akwarandu. Apologies for botting yes. in there, Mr. Akwarandu. I mean, shouldn't there have been a, a notice for such increase of 340%? What's the role of the Consumer Protection Council in all of this? Well, that's where uh, what he did. But then the new DG of Consumer uh, uh, Protection um, it, this is what he should take because the consumers are suffering. And this is the essence of what we're doing. What we're doing is to make sure that the citizens participate in the development of their country. The citizens have to be alive to participate. The citizens have to be educated. The citizens have to be well. Now, in all these, we are not succeeding. So where do you place these citizens? You are emasculating them. And very soon they will say no, and I can assure you of that. Well, thank you so much for your insight on the news. Chris Akorando, a public affairs commentator, thank you once again. It's a pleasure.